Hello, welcome to another edition. Look, I'm wearing a turban. She's in crackers. Um, let's let's try this again. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, I'm, I'm like let's show some hair. It's just cold. You know, it's it's bright. Like nothing makes sense. Anyway, this is a really short story podcast. I'm James Live Jr. Uh, it is so nice to see you guys. It is a new year. It is 2022, and we had a very very successful year last year in 2021 with this actual podcast series show. Um, very, very successful. I'm very happy about that. Um, and I want to give you some updates and, and I'll talk to you about some of the changes that have been going on and what, what are going on with this podcast. It's out on Saturdays normally. It's a special episode. There is a new episode called What's He Looking At? It's a funny one. Um, interesting ending. Uh, uh, it comes out this Saturday. So you'll have that one. We have a bunch of new ones coming out too. We've been, we've been filming a bunch, recording a bunch of one-off audio dramas. And I want to explain all that to you. But for the year, for 2021, it is number 16 out of 45 shows I have. Uh, in the month of December, it was number nine. It was consistently in the top 10, off and on, all month of December, every week. And it's the number one of all of my shows that feature audio dramas or comedies. It's number one. I just like, all righty, I'll take that. Um, very exciting. So it's, it's doing very well for us. I mean, it's above Mr. Road, Easter Hair, all those shows. It is doing very well for us. Um, and we've morphed into some stuff. So this is what, so going forward for right now, this is what the show, the podcast is, and it's going to be. Um, <clears throat> So one, it's called, uh, it's going to be basically an anthology series. That's what it's turned into, right? Almost like a movie of the week. It's a show of the week. It's like basically um, we get some of our regular cast members who are on other shows, throw them together like, like Hallmark Channel does, and Lifetime, and they all do that. And they mix them all up and we do show. We do actual um, mini shows, usually one episode. Some get um, multiple episodes. Um, but they're not full series. Like, for example, Mama's Family, or Mama's Mess, or Mama's Dinner, that whole series has three episodes. I've written a fourth already, but there's three episodes. You're like, well, why is that just a series? Well, at first, we didn't envision it as a series. We envisioned it as one episode. Then I closed it with something that was kind of a cliffhanger, the cast like working together. So I wrote another one. Like, look, I got more, I got more story to tell. And I wrote another one. So it's kind of like we keep writing it. So it's not really a series. Um, it may lead to a series one day. I don't know. It might just stay like this. It's kind of fun. Every every month or so, you get a new episode. Every month or so, you get a new episode. So it's kind of like, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know. There's certain ones. The, the blue door, the purple door. Now you get a periwinkle door. Like, I just, I, I never envisioned them as series. They were just like one-offs that just continued. Um, but they could lead to it. But it's, that, but it's also original works. We have people like... Um, What's his name? Uh, like Flobo Boyce, uh, Doug Hess, uh, Jaime Molina. Others have written stories for the Rich Story podcast. And we've aired them, like Izzy Izzy uh, or Santa as an Alien. <clears throat> we try them out. These are like fun little ones, and we put them together. And so they're on there. We're showcasing other writers telling short stories. Also, spinoffs. So some of the favorite dramas that you listen to, say Claws of Series, uh, Easter Hair, Tooth Fairy, any of those, Mr. Road, we're telling some stories. So again, instead of making them full spinoffs, okay, let me see, I'll make, make sure I make it sound so it's not um, confusing. So there was, there was Claws of Series. We did do a spinoff called The Kringles. I envisioned it as a spinoff, and it was a whole spinoff. Now, Instead of doing a spinoff of that, because one of the characters, I just want to know more about him, Caleb Kringle. We have just we just recorded two spinoff episodes of his story. They're kind of um, prequels, so it kind of gives you some backstory. And we're doing one with Christy Kringle too, doing a backstory of these couple of characters that are characters on the Kringles. So right now they're not being spinoffs their own series. Um, but there's kind of getting a few episodes. We're going to see how we see how they do. We see if they're successful, if they're hits. We do all that. 
if it's super successful, high successful, we may do a series out of it. Or if we end the Kringles, we may do a, a, a sub-series of it. Um, but it's almost like mini series, limited series, one-off episodes will all be on the Really Short Story podcast. Um, then it will be regular spinoff series. Um, more is a spinoff of the Choose Fairy. Choose Fairy is a spinoff of Cupid. But we have Dr. Crown and the Platinum, not just Dr. Crown, Dr. Frost and the Platinum Crown, which is a spinoff of those. It's a story. Uh, and we're introducing a little more about what's going on with him. It's like a fun little story that's in the series. And then we have another character off of that show. A lot of times, with a lot of these spinoffs, we try, I try to introduce at least one new character that's not in the original series that it come from that's specific to this little show. And that, and they, and they get a chance to either come back into the main series or to get spun off themselves or stay in this little world. But I try to add, try to add new characters to the universe because sometimes you never know where you can use them. Uh, and sometimes you cross over to the other shows too. So in the spinoffs, a lot of times we'll have crossovers. People come on for the shows. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But it's like continuations of what you watched in between seasons of your shows. Uh, we did it with Claus the series. We had a bunch of like um, featurettes, and they were very successful to us. They kept the show alive from beginning to end, uh, and so it was it was really good. Um, but anyway, so we're doing that. That was planned. Short story reads. We'll continue those too. Very successfully, Robert Wraith wrote read uh, chapters of my book. Lost uh, weight, found change, literally, and it was successful. Uh, Full of Boys wrote read a short story of his. It was very successful. So we're going to continue doing that too, and doing more like, interspersing that with more of the stuff that's going on there, and and doing book chapters. And I have a few other ideas I'm working on that would be good for because this is basically an audio podcast. I'm doing this video because it's kind of to bring attention to it, um, but it's mostly just all audio. So you'll check that out there, of course. Um, but we, we, I enjoy doing this. I love, I started the really Story Story Project about five, six years ago, or even long, maybe a little longer than now. Um, and, uh, and it's just been a fun thing. We have books, obviously, all these books. And some of those books, we're looking at maybe making them into stories, who knows. Um, but you can check those out at Amazon. They're all over at Amazon. <clears throat> you check those out over there. And, uh, uh, and some other things. I'm looking at the writers, like, what do you have? Write a story. It's very, very interesting. We're having, we're having a good time with this. We're having a good time with this. So, yes, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm James Hunt Jr., of course, the Leisure Story Projects and Podcast creator, Leisure Story spinoff, Leisure Story Story Stories. Um, we're having a lot of fun. I have a lot of them totally recorded in the, in the bag we'll put together and release to you guys. Um, if you have a short story you want to submit and want to think about, well, you know, please let me know. Uh, and maybe we'll put it together into something. Uh, we have more coming from other writers too. So I'm not just me, I want the collective to help in this and do this also. Uh, the Really Short Story podcast is on every streaming pl uh, audio platform. So from iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google, you can go there and you can find it. It's the, the Really Short Story podcast. Um, and you should want to find it, follow it, and take, take a gander. What we have, our number one show on there is the Sugar Plum Fairy and the, Tooth and the Nutcracker. That's from the Tooth Fairy series. They came from there. We gave them their own origin story. Come on, well, that's not origin. It's like a, a, a prequel. That was very successful. So check, check that out. And that's a, that's a good one, too. I'm James Hunter. You can follow me on James Hunter everywhere, at JLJ Media everywhere, on all streaming platforms everywhere. And on C, it was on Saturdays. It's part of the really Saturdays on JLJ Media. It's a really short story podcast. Really have a grandparent. And the really quick James Hunter Jr. show, all on Saturdays. Um, so check everything and we'll see you next time and read reading is 